dear students hope you all are doing good today we are going to study about characteristics of electromagnetic waves what are electromagnetic waves or how they are produced basically electromagnetic waves are produced by accelerated or oscillating charges characteristics of electromagnetic waves first one in electromagnetic wave electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other as well as perpendicular to the direction of propagation what does this mean this means that if an electromagnetic wave is traveling along positive x axis then its electric field will be along y axis and magnetic field will be along z axis you can see in the figure that electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other as well as they are perpendicular to the direction of propagation if an electromagnetic wave is traveling along positive x axis then its electric field will be along y axis while its magnetic field will be along z axis so you can see that electric field magnetic field as well as the direction of propagation all three are perpendicular to each other the equation for electric field is e of y equals e not sin kx minus omega t as the electric field is along y axis we have taken e of y further we have assumed that electromagnetic wave is traveling along positive x axis so it is sin kx minus omega t if the wave is traveling along negative x axis then the equation will be e of y equals e not sin kx plus omega t where e not is amplitude k is known as wave vector while omega is angular frequency similarly the equation for magnetic field will be b of z equals to b not sin kx minus omega t remember magnetic field is along z axis so we have written b of z where b not is amplitude k is wave vector and omega is known as angular frequency second characteristics in wave electric field and magnetic field are related by an equation e by b equals c where c is speed of light in vacuum third one the speed of electromagnetic wave in space is given by an equation c is equal to 1 over under root mu not epsilon not where epsilon not is permittivity of vacuum and mu not is permeability of free space fourth one electromagnetic waves are transverse wave what does this means we have seen that electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to the direction of propagation and hence in this case such waves are known as transverse wave also electromagnetic waves do not require any medium for their propagation and hence they are non mechanical waves fifth when electromagnetic waves falls on a surface it exerts pressure on the surface which is called radiation pressure this also imparts linear momentum to the surface sixth if u is the energy incident on any surface in time t and suppose this energy is completely absorbed by the surface then the momentum imparted to the surface will be p is equal to u by c where p represents linear momentum and c is speed of light seventh electromagnetic waves carries energy from one place to another place which is called radiation energy that is 
electromagnetic waves transmits energy and momentum example they carry energy from sun to earth from transmitting station to radio and tv eighth the energy density of electromagnetic wave is given as rho equals rho e plus rho b where rho e is energy density of electric field and rho b is energy density for magnetic field on substituting the value of rho e and rho b we will get rho equal to epsilon not e square or b square by mu not ninth in a region far away from the source oscillations of electric field and magnetic field are in equal phase that is electric field and magnetic field oscillates in phase tenth one the intensity of radiation i is defined as the radiant energy u passing through unit area normal to the direction of propagation in one second that is intensity is u over a into t also the formula for intensity is i equal to rho into c that is equal to epsilon not e square into c or b square by mu not into c 11th and the last characteristics vector e cross vector b gives the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave in first characteristics we have assumed that electric field is along y axis that is in the direction of unit vector j magnetic field is along z axis that is in the direction of unit vector k cap then j cross k gives i and that was the direction of electromagnetic wave that is electromagnetic wave was traveling along x axis so here we have discussed about characteristics of electromagnetic waves in next lecture we are going to discuss about the formulas and the example of this chapter thank you